Okay, I'm making a part two in this one here. Kind of, I kind of maxed out as I did that one there. Um, so now I'm going to be taking you to a part two. I'm going to be putting that in the um, heading. That way you guys will know that this is part two. Um, as it is, let's, let's move on um, to our 19th one. And that is the slit throat prank. Here is the performance. My throat, you can see. Ow. Ah. You wanna know what this is then? But to reveal the secret behind it, all it is is a prosthetic taped onto my neck with a little bit of packing tape. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually put your neck down, curl it down so no one sees this. Take your, your knife, a plastic knife, cover it, and slice this as you're moving your neck up to lo look like you actually slit your throat with a knife. And that's how you do the slit throat prank. In brackets, scare prank. For our 20th one, which is the bleeding butcher knife prank gag, here is the performance. Watch. Ah. See? From the butcher knife. How is this then? But we have a secret behind it right now. Okay, so here how it how it's done. But first I'm gonna show you the package. It's the Gorafex butcher knife. It comes with it with with a knife and some fake blood. And on it here is a sponge that you're going to cover the fake blood onto it. So as you move the sponge like this it will uh, get some of the uh, blood out. So it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is just, uh, you just open up the uh, thing here. I uh, can't just uh, be just a uh, little bit Just like that. Cross there. Now put the cap back on. So the, the blood's onto here. What I gotta do is you can put it onto your hand, because uh, onto your hand or ever, ever like that. Here's the directions on the back. Okay. Then what I got to do is go from here at an angle. Like this. Hold steady. And try and get the but if you do if you do more you'll get a really uh, distinctive uh, effect you're look, looking for with the butcher knife and here you get that so if you get it nice and nice and thick you'll kind of look just like this
It's very easy to wash, and uh, you could do it uh, just pick numerous times. Um, and it says, um, uh, that removal on how to uh, clean the knife right there. So as it is, I'm going to clean this knife, and I'll be back. Um, for some other amazing tricks you could do for Halloween, the next coming up ones. And that is how you do the bleeding butch knife prank gag. Now for our last one, which is the leg trap prank at number 22. Um, here is the performance. Ow! <sighs> this really hurts. Sticking into me deep. You can see. Oh. You might know how this is done. So I'm going to reveal the secret behind it. It's kind of complex. But I'm going to break it down. First, I'm going to show you what you, have, what you, what you need. Cardboard or heavy thing here. You can use an elastic. Cardboard can make into teeth. And color it then into a nice rusty look like one. All you need is some wire. Um, on it and uh, you need some wire here this is going to look nice and all you need is a chain you're going to tape it to here on a piece of wood onto here okay and it looks like this so it looks like an, like an actual leg trap really it isn't it's just uh, a prop effect uh, this elastic is to hold in place as you turn around from here, and then you just put, put it around around here, so that way it looks nice and tight. So it'll look, look just like this. It'll look like this. Okay, you're gonna put this onto your leg. So how to do that? I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show you how that's done. First, let me just take take this off. And I'll show you how to up 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 try this. Okay, so the elastic is right here. Okay, so look down and and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so here, just gonna put your leg in. Here, into like just like this, any place you want. Like that close this up, and then all you gotta do is just uh, bend these teeth down a little bit, then stretch this thing, go around, and then we get to over here that so now it's just like this get rid of center move it up if you want uh, you can bring this down here for more tightness if you want to give a nice good me effect bring it up just a little bit more and if you want to you can add some stage blood to it make it look go gory and just putting it down where the, the teeth are up top here. And dripping it down. Um, the next thing you want to do is to add your shoe on. Like that. And it looks like a legit uh, eye trap. Um, and again, that's a really cool uh, visu a visual 
you can fool and prank your friends and family with the leg trap. And that is how you do the leg trap prank. Now for our the next one, which is the bleach drink. Here is the performance. Like I said, this was going to be dangerous stuff. Bleach is very dangerous. You can see it says toxic poisonous and it has a skull on it and here it says the word ble bleach on it. In this bottle is bleach and I'm going to drink it. I think I did drink actual bleach. I got to even print. Seriously. <laughs> it is a pretty stunning, um, dangerous thing you could do for Halloween. Because this actually is not bleach. It's water. You know, bleach itself is liquid. It's like water. So all I gotta do is put a label onto a bottle or take off the plates um labeling and smell and, and eat and use that or clean up the bleach thing really really well, making sure that it is seeable so they can see the watering inside. They're thinking it's bleach because it has the Jenny Lime labeling on it. I actually made this label by using a bit of white out making it bleach, uh, draw a little um, skunk, skunk crossbones and then it, and the words toxic and poisonous and to give it a look kind of like that. You can also take a look on on the internet. Uh, you can print um, a labeling off that way. Or if you want to be creative like me, you can do it like this. And again, you must have a white lid to sell it. White lid, if you don't, don't have a white lid, lid you can use a uh, white out on a lid like that. And then it's pretty simple. It's very self-explanatory. All you gotta do is once you see it, you can also know it's bleach. Take the cap off, and then you begin to drink. Watch them flip out, and um, and literally just shaking their heads, saying, "Oh my goodness, he has drink bleach." Then after I gotta say, "Relax, it's just H two O water you've been pranked." Okay, so for our next one, which is the knife swallowing trick. Here is the performance. Okay, so you see this knife here? I'm going to actually swallow it. And to get back out. You think again? Check this out.
How's this then? Let's put you a little secret behind this. It's very simple. This comes apart. Goes into this. Like that. This goes like that. So it's like this. Again. That's all that is to it. Because what you'll need for that is to have this to it. That way this can go inside of it. Enough for that peering blade and knife trick. Here is the performance. But I just said, but with the little secret behind that peering knife blade. Okay, so because it comes coming apart, you're gonna fit it one side of your arm like that, so it's creased like this. So it looks like this, so that there's no blade. And I got do is you're gonna push, push it over to here, take a blade after sewing this completely empty, pushing this down like this, and then the holding presser. Moving away, revealing the blade appear onto the onto the knife, and that is how you do the appearing knife blade trick. But enough for our last one, which is the black magic paper trick. Here is the performance because they like working with fire. Look, you you see this here? I've got my lighter. Watch. I'm down. Watch. What else is done? So I'm about to reveal a secret banner right now. Okay, all you need is this buckle paper, like flash paper, basically, but it's different. And you need, need a liar. That's all there is to it. And you need some scissors to cut. This paper is safe. Very safe because when you light it up, it's going to act very light. And with the warmth of your hands and that, it'll look like it is actually magically floating after being brought up in flames. And this is the package. It's a pretty big sheet too. Just do just a little cut. That, that's all you, that's all you'll need. Take your lighter, watch. Over here, it's very fast. You can see here, watch, well, just put my hand towards it. You can see here. 